just think of a stock as as a as your partner. You like your partner because he he can earn <laughs> that's money. A, that's a really good analogy. <laughs> Because he can earn money, because uh, he's not a cheating guy. <laughs> yeah. Calvin, tell me more about yourself. So, uh, my name is Calvin. I'm from Calvinless Investing, uh, where I talk about personal finance stuff mm -hmm. like stock investing, crypto, savings, basically anything that can make you rich. Amazing, I love that. When most people come into investing, they see investing as a way to earn money, mm -hmm. right? So money is the primary driving yeah. factor. But that's, I think there's a very huge, very thin difference between investing and gambling. Uh, one pro tip that I have is you don't have to do the research by yourself because I think not everyone knows how to read financials. Even right now, I don't even know how to read their financials. Right. So a way is to look at other people's research mm. to do your own research. Okay, so going back to Gen Z, mm. is that sort of appetite for risk a personality trait <laughs> of this group? I, I think, <laughs> um, okay, that's a term in Hokkien. It's called uh, never die before. Never die before. <laughs> so the reason this Gen Z or rather yeah. I'm part of them, yes. we are also, uh, we don't, we are not so risk averse Yes. It's because we haven't experienced uh, huge losses before, prolonged losses where like in 2007, where there were long recession, mm -hmm. long periods of recession. Mm -hmm. Gen Z, fire, what does that mean? What does fire mean? So fire is just a short form for financial independence, uh, retire early. And I think uh, recently it has picked up steam. Definitely I mean, yeah, on because, all the community channels. Yeah, because I think this option is available to us now. Mm -hmm. As in, in the past, uh, we can't really... There's not much information available to us. We find a way to stop working and to retire <laughs> to mm. do, so that we can do the things that we want. Uh, so when people think about retiring, they think about old people sitting at kopi tiam and drinking kopi. <laughs> Or sitting at home uh, and watching MediaCorp all day long. Yeah. Which would be boring. No. Yes. Because MediaCorp is boring. Okay, no. <laughs> <laughs> when people are on their death, deathbeds, um, mm. the usual regrets are stuff like, uh, I wish I hadn't worked so hard. I wish mm. I've, um, I was able to do the things that I wanted to do. And uh, mm -hmm. having the freedom gives you the opportunity to give your life meaning. <laughs> in a way because when people ask what's the meaning of life mm -hmm. to me the meaning of life is just to find meaning in life right the <laughs> pursuit of actual meaning right <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's so, interesting so um, and, and the means to achieving to achieving this kind of life is the easiest way is by investing your money mm. so what you need is a compass and a map with a map uh, you will know what is the best way to traverse the path mm. and to me um, right now, the easiest way is you look at, go online, look at social medias like YouTube, uh, forums. Uh, then you can gain knowledge through other people. What's your favorite? Calvinist investing. <laughs> <laughs> no, just kidding. Of course. I mean, <laughs> I mean just hmm. learn from others and uh, form your own opinions along the way. Where are we going right now in terms of investing? Yeah, what going to think? the moon. <laughs> I want to know what Kelvin thinks. Sometimes it's hard as a new investor or even an existing one to dis to be discerning in this space. I think for stocks, okay, let's talk about stocks first. For stocks, um, it's the usual. A stock is mm -hmm. just think of a stock as as a as your partner. You like a partner because he he can <laughs> earn money. A, that's a really good analogy. <laughs> Because he can earn money because yeah. uh, he's not a cheating guy. <laughs> uh, I mean, so in terms of company, mm. he doesn't do scams. Mm -hmm. uh, he has profit coming in. Uh, he has long-term plans for the company. So all this just adds up to a good company. You really go into the DNA of the person, right? Their personality. Yeah, yeah basically. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the simple truth. La. Mm. So it's, it's not about like a stock price is going up. So you don't just look at the guy. Mm -hmm. is, he, is he good looking or not? <laughs> that right. you, you still need to look at his personality. Um, what is his career path? 
It's kind of tough. How does one get used to losing? So, <laughs> um, here's a story. Uh, when I first started, I lost quite a bit of money, maybe around 5k to 10k, mm. which may seem a, a little bit to you, but to me at that time, it was a lot of money mm. because it was like four or five months of my pay. Right. Uh, so after I lost that money, I got desensitized to losing money. Interesting. Uh, Interesting. So as to your question, okay. how does one get used to losing money? I think you won't get used to losing money. It's like right. how you won't get used to lose, uh, seeing your characters die in Attack of Titans. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, you won't get used to it. So I think you another way... You revival stage. <laughs> you just keep coming back. <laughs> yeah. Um, another way, so a better way to look at it is rather than see your mon- seeing your losses, mm. is to look at it. This stock is at a discount. Is it still a good stock to buy? For example, maybe your Tesla dropped by 40%. Is Tesla still a good stock? Is Elon Musk still alive? Change is coming, no matter whether you like it or not. What do you think? (laughs) It's like in Game of Thrones, winter is coming, whether you like it or not. (laughs) Is that one of your (laughs) favourites? And I think um, everyone wants to get rich. Everyone wants to what big, big. They want something fast. Yeah, um, and if you are not part of it, have fun staying poor. <laughs> you have to always assume that you are r- wrong, mm. in a way, and your goal is to be less wrong. So that's, that's how my channel name came about, Kevinness Investing. I'm always uh, looking back at my investment style and see how can mm. I can further improve it because there's always yes. something to improve as yes. new thing comes along. I think, uh, yeah, it's good. Like even Warren Buffett himself believes in ETFs so much that he asks people to <laughs> invest ninety percent right. of his wealth in ETFs. Ninety percent. In specifically S and P five hundred. Ah. Yeah. So okay. that's how much he believes in it, and I think it's true because you are not just betting on one company; you are betting on the US itself. You were a gamer, right? I I'm, I'm, I was a gamer, and I was also a game programmer. <laughs> That is yeah, that is so cool. Okay, so you kind of had this approach to investing, right? And it's kind of tied to your personality. Mm. So, you know, Kelvin Lens Investing was started for Singaporeans. Not really. I wanted to target the entire world. Okay. But no one wants to listen. <laughs> <laughs> they are listening. They are. So, so I started um, speaking to more Singaporeans first and slowly Building expand. it. Yeah. So I tried sharing it to a few friends and they were not interested to listen. <laughs> like, like why, why do you want to tell me about this bank account that gives me 1%? You need uh, new friends, Calvin. I don't need that. <laughs> so after a while, I got sick of sharing things uh, to people who don't want to listen. Right, want uh, to listen. So I just went my frustration into YouTube. So oh, okay. yeah, s- to see who else wants to listen. So, mm. so that's how I started that's in the first place started. because I was frustrated. Right, you wanted yeah. to just get that knowledge out of there. It's yeah, like correct, catharsis correct. for you. Right. And with more money, just throw it into investing because otherwise your money is just st- sitting there doing nothing. Mm-hmm. So I think um, whether it's investing or gambling, um, just stick to the basics like uh, investing in good stocks over the long term and I think you will do all right. So investing... Good. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. Thank you so much, Calvin, for joining us on the yeah, show. Thanks. And um, yeah, we look forward to having you again. Yeah, I look forward to coming here again. Yay. <laughs>